Hi there, I'm Chef Stephen Piles, and we are going to do a very interesting recipe today. It'll be a respite from the lockdown. And you know, with the warmer uh, weather coming up, what that means is great summer produce. That bounty is going to be here soon. And there's nothing more representative of that summer bounty than delicious, ripe, um, heirloom, vine-ripe tomatoes. And so that's this dish is all about tomatoes, and then we're going to add some other things for fun, and I want you to use your creat creativity for that. The first thing we want to do, there's nothing better than a little vinegar and olive oil for tomatoes, so we're going to make a little, uh, just uh, make a little vinaigrette here. So I'm going to start with some great uh, sherry vinegar, a little Spanish sherry vinegar, just a little, and you can buy the vinaigrette if you want or make it with anything you do want. But I'm going to use sherry vinegar and a little good extra virgin olive oil. And typically with a good vinaigrette, you want it three to one or four to one, depending on how strong you want the vinegar. My uh, good friend and mentor, Julia Child, said a, a good vinaigrette should make you cough a little bit. So we're going to add a little bit of uh, shallot or red onion, whatever you have. And that's it, that's as simple as, as we get. We might add a little basil, but I think I'll put that on top. So let's look at the tomatoes. We're just gonna, you wanna, you wanna slice them and cut some into wedges and just have different looks. So you just wanna kinda mix it up here. We'll do some slices with the yellow. And then we'll do some wedges, just for fun. And then I'm gonna cut up these little heirloom cherry tomatoes. We'll just cut those in half. All different colors. Look, little rainbow of colors here. Looks nice, huh? Central Market. Um, Whole Foods, great places to get heirloom tomatoes. It'll be a, a, a little bit longer, but, but it's worth the wait. So we've got all these great um, tomatoes here, and I'll just kind of scoop those up and put them on the plate, and then we're going to dress them. So just, just kind of put them around. Just get decorative. And then we're going to add a number of things. First of all, I'm going to add my vinaigrette, of course. So that looks nice. Maybe another wedge here. I think one more slice for fun of it. Right there. There we go. So I'm going to add a little bit of my vinaigrette. you want, add a little bit of salt, a little black pepper, add a little more black pepper. I like to see the flecks on there. All right, here's the fun part. This is what really makes it. Uh, not that the tomatoes don't, but uh, a little feta cheese. Feta is a, a Greek sheep's cheese that is kind of crumbly and aged. It's a beautiful flavor to these tomatoes. And then the other kind of surprise ingredients is pistachios. Pistachios, we just roasted these um, in the oven, about 15 minutes, uh, 400 degrees, or 375, and chopped them. Uh, pistachios are in the cashew family. And they're actually um, quite high in uh, vitamin B6 and thiamine. So uh, they're very, very healthy. So sprinkle the pistachios right on top. Now that's enough right there for a great 
meal in the summer, refreshing. But we're going to add a little basil, I think would be nice. A little chiffonade of basil. It'd be good on a pizza too, wouldn't it? And, um, and so here's where I want you to get creative. So this is as this is, is, is much as you need. But if you want to add, what if we added a little watermelon radish? If you don't have one of these little mandolins, get one. They're fun. So look at these little water, watermelon radishes. We might want to cut those in half just because it looks better, I think. Some big slices and some not. And uh, a little cucumber still in the skin. Now this couldn't be any simpler, but oh man, is that fresh. And I would even put just for fun, a little more vinaigrette on top of the things I just added again. So there it is. And for a real taste of summer, try adding some really good ripe watermelon, just diced when that comes into season. Watermelon and tomato, it's a match made in heaven.